So what Still. advice would you give someone who wants to become a content creator? So I'm gonna start because that's in my that's in my wheelhouse. Okay. <sighs> So if you want to become a content creator for one, I would ask the question of what type of content creator do you want to become? Because at this point, there's multiple types of content creators. Okay. When you think about like you having the food channel, that yeah. I feel like that's a different type of content creator because you're letting your food and your recipe and your process kind of seal the deal for you versus if you're doing educational content, right. That's a different type of content creator. And then you also have the long form content creators versus the short form video content creators. Yep. So I remember Michael, when you first became a content creator outside of this channel, he started off with short form videos cause that felt more comfortable right, for right. him. Yeah. Well, maybe video doesn't feel comfortable for you. Maybe podcasting, like having a mic and being able to, it doesn't even have to be video podcasting. Maybe you just want to do yeah. audio podcasts. So I say all that to say, ask yourself the question of what feels the most comfortable and what feels the easiest for you to start and then start there. Right. Because this is the era of content creation and there is money in the content creation space if you desire to become a full-time right. creator. So do the thing. What advice would you give? So one of the things that uh, or advice that I would give definitely would have to be find out what you want to be known for. Ooh, first of all, yes. you want to be able to, because you got to remember you're, you're your own brand. So whatever it is that you're putting out there to the world is how the world is going to perceive you. Uh, for me, it started off with like motivational videos, mm -hmm. uh, videos regarding uh, beginning recovering alcoholic and things like that. And don't get me wrong, those were good. Um, those were good videos. But one of the things that I'm passionate about is cooking. So yeah. I had to pivot. And it's a hard pivot, uh, don't get me wrong. But it's what I want to be known for. I feel like, uh, for me, cooking is an easy way to break bread with people and get that connection with people because everybody yeah. connects through food. So the first thing is, what do you want to be known for? The second thing is, you need to get knowledge on what it is that you want to be known for. So one of the issues I had for me was asking uh, Lashana to, to do everything. <laughs> and, you know, so it's one thing whenever somebody is kind of holding your hand and doing it for you. But it's another thing whenever you actually take the initiative and learn for yourself. And one of the things I've learned throughout my process is I need this information uh, because I don't want to be out there and be asked a question that I can't answer because I don't have Lashana around me to answer the question. Right, <laughs> so, right. Uh, gaining uh, knowledge uh, is extremely crucial as far as what it is that you're wanting to do. And I will also even add, because you said some really, really good stuff, um, kind of along the lines of what he was just saying is perfect your craft, but right. also – give yourself grace on the timeline. Like you need to create a realistic timeline on when you're going to start seeing results. Because right. I find that when working with clients and new content creators, specifically with YouTube, they want to post two videos and blow up. And they're like, dang, I only got like two views on this. Only got 10 views on this. And you have to right. understand, like, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. It is, you're not right. going to see results tomorrow now if you do like i said with this channel keep in mind that i did a lot of research at the beginning stages to even have the potential for our first two videos to pop you know to take off and i just so happened right. to know that at that stage because now a lot of people just jumped into space now but at the time yeah. when we first started our couples channel there were not a lot of interracial couples videos out there like very, that very true but they were very very in high demand right. so when we did our interracial couples videos because it was already in high demand, they took off really, really quickly. Right. But that's not for every single industry that you may be entering. So like cooking, for example, yeah. that's a saturated industry. Now, it's not to say that you can't take off. You will. But you will definitely need that momentum. You're going to need momentum. Yes. You're going to need to put in the hard work um, for the industry I'm going into. Everybody's a cook. Right. So it's yeah. not an easy thing that I'm pivoting into. Right. And right now it's not as simple as you just doing right. a good recipe. Now you have to find a way to stand out. Now, luckily for Michael, he has the personality 
that will help him yeah. stand out. That's what I did. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that is going to be his competitive edge in the market with him utilizing his personality. And if y'all haven't seen his recent cooking video with the cabbage. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> y'all have to watch that video because there's a part in there that is so funny. And one of the things that we kind of kept in his video was... Obviously, when you're doing like professional type of videos where you're like editing and post production and stuff, you normally edit out the mistakes. Right. Well, in this video, there were a couple of mistakes that was made where we were dying laughing. And I was like, babe, leave that in because that's going to make people relate to you. You got to watch the video. Right. And, and <laughs> you know, and it's, I'm not trying to teach you how to be a chef. I'm trying to teach you how to cook. Yeah. So people make mistakes. Right. One of the things I want to piggyback off of something that you said as far as uh, giving yourself grace is like you said it's not going to happen immediately it's not uh, my TikTok account i got over 300 videos nothing i've never blown up um i've got over 80 videos on youtube uh never blown up um it takes time consistency however i feel like is the key to success yes and and giving yourself uh grace also understand you're going to make mistakes i've had a lot of videos that i had to redo 40 times it seems like you don't see that on yeah on a video that's two minutes long yeah like literally and uh so there's a lot that goes into if you want to be a content creator and there's a lot that goes into the mistakes that you're going to make along the way however it really depends on how you look at your mistakes if you look at your mistakes and you laugh about it guess what you're going to be doing really good because if you look at your mistakes and you get really upset and you get really destroyed by them it's going to be very hard for you to step into this industry because of the fact that you're going to make mistakes. And yeah. I feel like the mistakes are the best part because that's what really helps teach you how to become better at your craft. That's how you perfect your craft by yeah. going through the mistakes and understanding, even like doing this podcast episode, it's been a while. So it took us a minute oh, to yeah. figure out yeah. what we need to do. But because we were making the mistakes at the beginning process today, we yeah. were like, you know what? A part of us perfecting this craft is writing down the steps that we took <laughs> yeah. that we were supposed to do once we figured out everything so that next time it would be a smoother process. Right. And so you have to do that for yourself and whatever it is, the content type of the type of content that you're planning to create, that's a part of you perfecting your right. craft. You know what I'm saying? So but definitely do it. It was something I was gonna say in reference to what you said, but I don't remember now. Grace. <laughs> yeah oh i remember what i was gonna say i see told you thank you so um i'm gonna end it with this so with my channel remember earlier i was talking about how i got monetized and like 90 percent of youtube creators that start on youtube they never see a thousand youtube subscribers it took me to create a hundred long form youtube videos to hit my first 1000 subscribers and that's typically on average what people see that they have to do in order to hit that. Yeah. Now, granted, a part of me perfecting my craft is out of those 100 videos and doing the process over and over and over again for that a length of time, I know now what I would have done differently to hit it faster. Right. If I would have stayed consistent when I was starting and based on different things that I've learned throughout creating a hundred videos, now I know how to get there faster in the future. Right. So you have to do that for yourself. If you've never picked up a camera or picked up a podcast mic, it's like you have to think about the long term vision that you have because that's what's going to keep your head in the game when right. you're creating those hundred episodes or those hundred videos. That's what's going to keep you in the game. But I'm going to shut up now because I can keep on going when it comes to that. <laughs>